classic Coke. Makes your throat rasp. What station are you watching? Got a sheep in here. Coke. Oh sheep. See it? What channel are we watching? We're watching Reading Community Access Television, Channel 28, and you better watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, renowned television director, producer, and the winner of the 1989 Wave Award, Namaste. Good morning. Wow, early. Huh. I go a lot of... I go a lot of places and people don't recognize me. That's why I carry my Channel 28 user's card. I don't go anywhere without it. The Channel 28 user's card. Don't leave home without it. Got a beer, Ed? I mean, where's a beer? The following program contains some scenes in language which may not be appropriate for younger viewers. Parental guidance is advised. Due to community decency standards and pending litigation against the producers, tonight's regularly scheduled program, Uncle Ernie's Carnal Circus, will not be seen.
So when we're tearing down, uh, Tom, all the extension cable. Ah, I'm just that poor, but lonesome, misunderstood. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you man, very much, man. I got me a good baby. All day. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'll be back in 45 minutes. You're gonna get me struck with this stuff, huh? Oh, the, where the money is. This is where the, they actually make any money. It's right here with this lady. Right. I'm the first lady. They play for free and they give all the money to her. Right. Yeah, right. Are you ready? Hi. My name is Michael. I have to take the trip.
church too you know that's we're a very religious band a lot of people don't know that but and we haven't watched Andy Griffiths for a few days it really shows spiritually <laughs> we do believe that Andy Griffith is really a, a pillar of sort of an American grown moral guidepost you know he's, he's great with his kids, you know, we've got, we've got kids in the band, you know, big family thing, and Andy is really a constant source. All right, well, here's a, uh, here's a tune I got to introduce earlier, and we didn't play it, so this time I'm going to introduce it and see, see if it happens. This one's one of them high country Colorado tunes called uh, the Funky Mountain Fog Down, and uh, it goes something like this. Thanks much for coming out to, to hear us. Those of you uh, trying to figure out who we are, we're leftover salmon. We're from around Boulder, Colorado, playing that polyethnic Cajun slamgrass thing. And uh, we've got CDs, cassettes, all that sort of thing. Help yourself to a bumper sticker over there. Here's one called Funky Mountain Fog Down.
can move on to the next song, which is pasta. <laughs> pasta on the mountain. Yes, sir. The, the mosh pit's favorite. Well, thank you to Grateful Dead for this wonderful song. Here. <laughs> they don't know it yet, but we, we wrote them a letter, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Come on over. Cool. No, that's okay. I don't have anything. <laughs> sit on my lap. This, <laughs> this song, this song, I think was very difficult to record in that um, we'd never ever done it the same twice, and never have since then. This song, <laughs> this song can go anywhere, and often does go anywhere, and uh, it has kind of a basic format that we follow, but uh, we've played it so many different ways uh, that we, when we got in the studio, we had the task of trying to figure out how to take spontaneity and make it something that you can actually produce and record. And uh, we did end up getting a version of Pasta on the Mountain on this album, but it's not representative because there is no one way to play this song. And it's kind of a cult favorite, it's what people it's always want to hear. Yeah, it's way short. Uh, it's 531 on the record. Lately it's been about 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah, don't get too attached <laughs> to the arrangement. <laughs> yeah.
there's a wind in the ocean And the sun shining down Here on the mountain Let's get the high
it's fun riding the bus. It's fun. I spend the whole day just riding the bus because it's so much fun. And cleaning the windows for them. Oh, fun, fun, fun all day long. They don't pay me much. That's not too bad. And uh, this is really scary. This is a ride. This was King Kong jumped up at me, and I had to go change my pants. Does he have bad this. breath? Oh, terrible, boy. probably. They simulate right? that real well too. Uh -huh. they, they shoot this stuff out. I understand. He, he eats raw sides. This is even eat. scarier. Look at this guy. The guy's tongue, kissing. He's tongue kissing with a duck. Mm -hmm. he, and was I mean, I under, he was arrested for putting lip gloss on that duck a little oh, later. Oh, and I don't know who what kind of toupee. It looks like the same guy that does Frank Sinatra's toupee. Look at this. I mean, he's tongue kissing with a duck. Only in Hollywood. This was so obscene. I, That's I just, illegal I had to in 37 leave. states. I, I thought it was. It. Here's uh -huh. Jane Fonda. She's uh -huh. making a new uh, videotape exercise tape. I don't need the money. I just like to do this. Crap. That was Jane Fonda when she was camping out at 31 Flavors. It looks like. You bet. And she's got her crowd there. Yeah. She was Oh, thank you. Thank you, Viacom. Thank you, Channel 28. Oh, Kit, Don, with your wavy red hair, thank you so much. Sherry B., thank you, thank you! Are you in a rut? Need to find something new? Seeking adventure? Take just a few short seconds and answer these three questions. Can you successfully count to ten? Do you know the difference between your right and your left hands? Do you currently have all of your fingers? If you answered yes to all three questions, then Reading Community Access Television may be just what you're looking for. Channel 28 can give you the opportunity to make programs like you just watched. Give our perky, colorful staff a call and let them explain how you're just a step away from the big time television. Give us a call today at Channel 28, 225-4425. That's 225-4425. Get into the arena. No, uh, Guru <laughs> Baba uh, is is has sent us one of his video clips on the road, and we're going to roll to that right now. Are we ready to go? Let's go to video three. Let's all count down together. Two, Two one. one. Cute. Do you know her? Yeah, she's uh, one of my crew. <laughs> man, man has intelligent hiring practices. I do not care. Oh. <laughs> this was not even a. I didn't ask that. What, what did you do when, when you? What did you bless him? Gummy bless No. Him did you? Do you I want to know why it. I'm here? Or? Yeah. Sure. I mean, I just want to talk to you. That's all. It doesn't matter what. I. Uh, I came here. To try and help as many people as I can, establish a personal relationship with Gumby. Do you have a really? personal relationship with Gumby? Do you I don't. have a personal I relationship don't. with no. Gumby? No. No. Neither, neither one of us do. So we're here to learn. I mean, this is this is why we came to whole life. We're like. I'll tell you, man. Can I sit right here next to you? Hey, really? Right, like, you. it's your space, and be spacious in it. <laughs> okay, now, like, I, I personally feel and know from my spiritual experiences and my out-of-mind experiences that, like, if you're looking for all that harmony and inner light and truth and all that stuff that they're talking about here today, you're not going to find any of that with all these fly-by-night sort of crystal things and all of this uh, holy water from, you know, Colorado and all of that. <laughs> and you're not going to find it from any of these phony Christians or any of these other weird dead religion people. The only true salvation that's really, 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 really going to give you what it is that you're, like, looking for, that you need, is Gumby. And until you've established that personal relationship with Gumby, I can't help you, and I would just like suggest you get more fiber in your diet. And if you have a hard time handling that approach, we can use a more traditional American style approach. Yeah. This is Gumby. This 
is the power of Gumby. This is the day of Gumby. This is the way of Gumby. If you have not accepted Gumby into your soul, if you are not prepared to give everything you've got to follow the way of Gumby, if you are not prepared to let Gumby take over your life and lead you to salvation, then eternal damnation, hanging out in dumps like this, talking to jerks like me, is about the best you can hope for. I suggest you get right with Gumby. I suggest you get right with Gumby now. I suggest you feel the power of Gumby residing within you. Because without Gumby, you are nothing and less than nothing. Praise Gumby. Praise be Gumby. Praise be Gumby. Thanks. Interview's over.